everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my January wrap up where I basically just go over all of the videos that I made this month and the books that I read. In terms of videos I made this month, I did my 2014 reading and book related resolutions video so you guys can check that one out if you guys are interested in that. I'll also be doing a wrap up of my resolutions at the end of this video so you guys can kind of just wait for that. I did two kind of discussion videos this month. The first one was called The Hardest Question to Ask a Bookworm which is basically about my cousin asking me to write recommend her a book and there were these stipulations involved in that that I won't go into but if you didn't watch that video feel free to check it out and see what books I was thinking about recommending her. For those of you who have been asking the book that I recommended was The Road by Cormac McCarthy and then the other discussion that I made this month was why I use Goodreads which was actually a video response to Lena from Just Kiss My Frog because she made a video talking about why she doesn't use Goodreads and so I just thought her video was really interesting and wanted to provide another perspective into the conversation. And then this past Tuesday I put up a book haul which I usually don't do. Usually my book hauls are with my wrap-ups but I had a lot of books this month and you can go watch that if you guys are interested in seeing what books I acquired recently. And then I also did a Friday Favorites which I mentioned in my New Year's resolution I believe or maybe my December wrap-up that I wasn't going to be doing a lot of Friday Favorites because I don't have good lighting right now but I popped one out because I had some stuff I wanted to talk about. I have noticed that I'm getting better lighting as you know spring comes closer so hopefully those will be returning soon because I actually really do like making those videos and sharing things that I enjoy with you guys. In terms of book reviews that I did this month I did a review on Aya which is actually a graphic novel. I did a review on Second Person Singular and then I did one on The Elements of Eloquence by Mark Forsyth and then this past week I did one on Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. If you haven't seen any of those review videos and you're interested feel free to check those out. There are links down in the description. And then I also did videos talking about The Impossible Knife of Memory by Laurie House Anderson for the Reblog Book Club. Those are all in the Reblog Book Club playlist in case you guys are interested in watching those. There are spoilers in those videos so I would say if you haven't read the book you can check out the first video. And then besides those books that I reviewed and made videos about this month, I also read Snow Country by Yasunawi Kawabata for the International Reads Book Club. This was actually the December book club pick but I finished it up in January. I didn't read the January pick because I just didn't have time to pick up a copy of Hunger which I believe was the book but I'm really hoping to read The Colonel next month because it sounds really interesting. And then I read Mr. Churchill's Secretary by Susan Elia McNeil. I didn't do a review of that book because it wasn't worth doing a review of. That book was pretty meh to me. I didn't find it super exciting. I thought it was going to be this really great spy caper type book. Basically it takes place in England during World War II and there were just a lot of really obvious things that were happening in the book so it wasn't super exciting. Also there were a lot of historical anachronisms in the book so it really threw me off. The characters didn't feel like they were actually in the 1940s. They felt like modern day characters that just happened to be also in the middle of World War II. I don't know, the book has a lot of really good ratings on Goodreads so it might just be not my cup of tea. Now in terms of my New Year's resolutions, I am doing, you know, just fine. In terms of reading more diversely, I've read three books that are by authors of color, which is, you know, surpassing my goal of reading one per month. For Mount TBR, I'm actually at five books when I only need to be at three books, so that's ahead of schedule, which is good because I feel like with all of the books that I bought this past month and with books like Crest coming out next month, I know that there are a lot of new books that are really capturing my attention. So hopefully with this little bit bump in my schedule. It will help me in February when I feel like I'm not going to read as many of my older books. And then for my one nonfiction read per month, I counted The Elements of Eloquence, which, you know, obviously is a nonfiction book. For those of you who have been asking about my presidential reads, I have kind of decided on which book I'm going to read for my George Washington, but I'm going to wait until I'm actually about to read it to talk about that. There are a couple nonfiction books I want to read before that. I have a Mayflower book that I want to read because I think it would be fun to sort of read that first and then I also have 1776 so I kind of want to read those two books before jumping into the George Washington biography because I think it'll just be you know a fun nerdy experiment to read through the beginnings of history before I jump into George Washington himself. And of course for the 50 book challenge I'm 
fine with that. If you guys are new to my channel, I don't normally read six books a month. This is slightly out of the ordinary, but not really. January usually is a pretty big reading month for me because it's cold, it's dark, and I don't want to go outside, so I usually spend a lot of the month inside reading. Once it gets warmer and things like that, I'm usually out more for obvious reasons, so this is usually what happens in January. I get a little bit ahead of schedule, and then hopefully this will make up for the fact that later on I might not be reading as much. So yeah, that was basically my January in a nutshell. Feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know how your Januaries are going. Let me know what books you read that you really enjoyed, if there's anything in particular that stood out to you. Also, so if you guys ever have like video suggestions or things you want me to talk about in my videos, you can always leave those comments down below. I'm always willing to take video ideas if you guys have any that you want to see from me. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.